Okay. Welcome everybody to ray tracing. Yeah, so this video is brought to you by NVIDIA today. Um, and it's basically because they're doing a partnership with Minecraft. And this was teased uh, back in summer um, of 2019 that there was going to be ray tracing in Minecraft. So it is currently in the game, but it's only in the Windows 10 version, which is what I'm using today. If we take a quick look around, you'll see realistic light physics. I know. Would you look at that? looks incredible um so basically ray tracing is if you don't know um basically just light physics like it's the way that l rays of light act in video games to make it look to make them seem realistic um it's the way like th light would come from the sun when it's being cast and the way shadows act um when put when combined with light basically so you can see like for example right here the way the sunlight casts over this and um, this block can see the sun but this block can't because it's being blocked by this one. So the sun is like a realistic physics object now. Um, and light acts in the appropriate way it should, like in real life. Which is really, really cool. Um, so this is currently only in Windows 10, as I said. Um, but it, it looks really cool so far. This is a beta version, so you'll notice my frames are absolutely awful. And I have a pretty good PC. And um, currently this version is only um, available for graphics cards that are RTX 2060 or later. Mine happens to be an RTX 2060. Um, so I'm okay for it. But if you have an older graphics card, you will have to upgrade to actually use ray tracing and this kind of stuff. Um... But it looks it looks really really good like really good and as you can see even as the cloud goes over and um, it actually blocks the sun so we're being cast a bit of a shadow right now and um, the cloud is semi transparent as well so the light will go through it but not as much as um it would if there was no cloud there at all so we're going to take an adventure uh, take a little adventure over to the island over there and as you can see underwater is my favorite part of this because you can see the rays of light like actually shining down you can see them flickering through the water it's really really cool and the water is pretty transparent as well <clears throat> But um, as you can see, like my armor is literally just a floating hand because it's in beta, obviously, so not everything is fully fixed and fully configured. Um, but um, I would love to see a full version of this soon, uh, hopefully. But uh, for now, this is what we get, and it's really, really cool. Like, you can see the physics ha happening right here, even. Um, like, just literally, the sun will only go, will only be cast, um, the light will only be cast past objects that aren't obstructing the sun, basically. So yeah, this is uh, there's six free maps, I think, at the moment, um, on the Windows 10 market that you can test out all the RTX features in. Um, so I'd highly recommend, if you do have Windows 10 version, you can get the beta yourself by going to the Xbox Insider app. And then you can enable the experimental, hello Enderman, uh, you can enable the experimental Windows 10 R RTX uh, ray tracing features in that. And then you can download the new update from the uh, Microsoft Store. And then you can um, try out this for yourself. And there's six maps that you can test it out on uh, that are specifically made for this um updates that you can test the features out on and um, so this is basically how it works like we you've seen some of the sun physics already but there's different physics for like torches example uh for example like this uh, as you can see there's like a little bit of um a luminescence thing coming off the torch which is really really cool <clears throat> same thing with glowstone glowstone has a really cool effect you can see the light just bouncing off of it it's really nice and um, so the way you'll know it's, if it's working is you'll see uh, 1.15 up here and it says render dragon d e the d3 d12 rtx that's how you know you're using the right version um and if you want your settings here there's a new option here so there's video settings and then there's advanced video settings and advanced video settings is your your, your ray tracing stuff um so you can see your ray tracing render distance um, and your particle render distance. So I have this set to 8 because it is very intensive and if you put it up to like say something crazy like 24 it absolutely destroys your FPS. Like you can see right now it just halved my FPS. I was on 40, I'm on 20 now. Uh, it does look really cool of course but um, yeah it absolutely shreds your FPS. So you can have, you can enable it or disable it yourself. So this is what this room would look like without the ray tracing. And if we turn the ray tracing back on <clears throat> and boom there we go looks a whole lot better right a whole lot better and i'm actually downloading the maps at the moment there in the top as you can see um but yeah it looks fantastic like you can see how the sea lantern like this light emits off this wall right here <clears throat> and it goes through the leaves as well like um transparent blocks are fully transparent you can actually put light through them which is amazing so we're gonna actually toggle that again real quick so i can show you uh turn that off and here's how it looks Pretty bland, pretty boring, not too great, um, but way better FPS. And if we go back to this and toggle it back on, as you can see, it looks way better. Um, and lights can actually change color uh, because when different blocks emit light, 
they can give off the different colors associated with that. So there's also texture packs that are built into the maps to go with these, um, and they're very handy because they just kind of give you all the the, the like texture um, updates that you need because the, the default blocks themselves won't be enough to actually show you this. There's a bit of a bug that you can see through the like back of the, <laughs> the wall there. That's really cool. <clears throat> um, and there is reflective surfaces too. So that just means that uh, glasses are semi-reflectant and there's also mirror objects that you can get. Um, but look, as you can see in the prismarine, the prismarine is a reflective surface, so it's mirroring this right here in its surface, which is really, really cool. You see that? Oh, it's so cool. Um, so yeah, this is basically what the ray tracing has in store for us. This will be the future of Minecraft once it comes out and they'll fully implement this into the game. Um, and then we can do full ray tracing and it'll be hopefully a lot more optimized then um, and it will completely break FPS. But yeah, and the lantern itself looks really cool like that. Um, so what I'm going to do is, oh, that looks really nice actually. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's, that's really cool. It's like reflecting the light inside the glass. That's pretty crazy. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get a different map. And I'm going to show you some more of the blocks um, emitting light themselves. And here we are on another map. So this one is more suited to nighttime because it really shows off the reflective effects of <coughs> the different terracotta blocks. So if we grab this, this is actually red terracotta. If we place this down, you can see it's emitting red light, which is really freaking cool. Um, we also have the purple one over here. And like you can see the light coming off of all of them. It's, it's pretty crazy, to be honest. And they've got the NVIDIA sign over here as well, which is really cool. Um, so I'm going to quickly... I'll just do it for a second or two because it's really laggy, but I'll turn on the full uh, render distance thing for... Oh my god, I have to keep scrolling down to the bottom. <clears throat> so we'll go to the full thing, the full 24, because it looks amazing, to be fair. It's really laggy, but it looks so good. Look at this. Wow. Looks incredible, especially this thing. This thing looks amazing up here. Um. So yeah, as you can see, it, it just looks absolutely full. I think the... the the graphics are like really cool now and um, you can see the light just kind of bouncing off objects that kind of thing and it's, it just makes the game like i don't know feel really um kind of more realistic i know it's minecraft but it still feels like more realistic i guess and um, so the iron trap doors here you can see are all reflective they are reflecting everything that's kind of the reason it's so laggy because of all these graphics that are going on and um, like you'll find these graphics in like major games like like red, Dem red dead redemption 2 um you'll find them in like any kind of new title um, over the last year or two will probably have settings like this and they're very intensive on graphics graphics cards but um they look really nice so yeah so yeah, as you can see all the different terracotta blocks in this map at least they will have and um, they they emit light and it's the light whatever color light they are or whatever color block it is that light is emitted which is really really cool um so look at this this looks so cool the the blue and white light together like that that's amazing because you will you won't like it'll be like a whole different map without the ray tracing watch this Look at that. How boring is that? How boring is that compared to the other one we saw? Like, it's so bland and just... Blech. But if you put on the ray tracing... Boom. It looks so much more vibrant. It looks so much more amazing. It just, it just looks fantastic. I can't get over how cool this is. This is one of the best things that has ever been added to this game, I have to say. And I really wish they could add it to the Java version, but I know it doesn't work um, quite as easily with the Java version as it does with this because Windows 10 is already implemented with uh, GeForce experience and that kind of stuff, so the drivers are easier to... But anyway, um, yeah, it looks absolutely fantastic. And they're going to keep improving it as this goes on. This is literally the first beta version that we get to check out, which is quite cool. And they're going to keep improving it. Um in the upcoming months which is fantastic we are in this one this one's called um what was it called again uh it was called like the color light and shadow rtx so it demonstrates all the different effects basically in this one so it basically just demonstrates all the different effects like you can see how um light can travel through one block spaces like this straight down from the sun so if we were to turn off the rtx that would be non-existent basically look at that nothing that's completely dark and it's nothing here um so that's why it's so good basically like it just brightens up your whole area it's amazing yeah there we go okay so i showed you i showed you underwater kind of in the first map we tried out i will show you global illumination now though so as you can see the light very clearly comes down through one block holes and it's bouncing off this right now um 
<clears throat> so these are the different colors because of terracotta. Oh no, this is a block of emerald. Different texture packs that work for different maps, so I'm not even sure which one is which. Uh, they were terracotta in the last map. Uh, this is a block of diamond, okay. But you can apply this to any um, texture packs, so that's why, or any block, that's why they're all um, different blocks in different packs. Uh, but these were the terracotta ones in the last block, that's why it was, uh, yeah. This is a redstone. Okay, very cool. This must be lapis, then, I'm assuming, right? Yeah. Okay. So they basically use the different ores to demonstrate the light effects. Very cool. Look at the way, oh my god, look at the way they kind of combine on top. That's really cool. This whole, like, chroma effect. That's amazing. Um, and this is a full mirror. Look at that. Look at that. You can see me in the mirror. Oh my god, that's so cool. That is so cool. Obviously, in first person, it's kind of broken. Um, it just has it's just a floating arm. Uh, but in third person, you can see my full body moving around. So it's fully reflective. It's a full, fully functioning mirror. And what block is this actually? This is red nether brick. It just goes to show you can apply any texture <coughs> and any lighting effect to any block uh, using a texture pack, which is so so cool. Um, but yeah, just being able to see yourself in a mirror in Minecraft is oh, it's amazing. Um, set a different time there, okay. So here we can see the different um, rays coming down onto different blocks. And what is the deal here? Oh, look at the way. It's like, oh, look at that. So the different um, levels of the Ender Dragon Egg are being affected by the rays. Well, that's so cool. That is so, so cool. Yeah, this is this is crazy. This is absolute. I can't even understand how half this is done. To be honest, it's amazing, and it even travels down over the stone wall as well. There's no gaps in the physics at all. It literally encompasses every block model. That's so cool. So that's global illumination. We get we already saw underwater. We'll see a bit more, but I guess. So this is basically what underwater looks like. Um, as you can see, there's only one block illuminating the whole thing. I think right. I think so anyway. <clears throat> and you can see even in the glass and the water, it reflects the lights from up here as well, which is so, so cool. Um, so this is the water through different uh, stained glass. Th oh wait, are they all light blue stained glass? Oh, I see. So they're all, they're all transparent, but there's one light that's changing the color in each of the tanks. Interesting, very interesting. Okay, okay. But um, we saw in the pirate ship, I think better than this, that the rays of light go really well through the water. They travel really, really well. They travel very far down, actually. Because <clears throat> when we were swimming, it looked really, really cool. So, let's go to zone three. Room examples, okay. So, time to new. Oh. Brewing sounds light up, too. Look at that. Oh, there's like sparkly effect coming off it. That's really cool. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this. Wow. That looks amazing. If this was better optimized, it would be just, it would be so enjoyable. It would be so enjoyable to just walk around and look at different lights all day. It's really hard to move, sorry if my cursor's like jerking around the place. Um so this one is a light color and what did it say? Light color and <clears throat> light color and manipulation. Okay. Oh my god, that's so cool. The water looks like it's just lighting up from every angle possible. Wow. Oh, this is a mirror. I was like, where's that hand coming from? What? That's mad. Look at me. I'm lighting up as well because of the light. That's so cool. Oh, my God. Oh my god, the sooner this comes, like, optimized, the better. It's It looks really good. Like, imagine just on just an adventure map, just with, like, imagine just, like, shaders. Just, like, shaders normally on adventure maps are good. But this is, like, something next level. You can just see my hand in the mirror, that's so cool. I love that. Puzzle? Oh, it's a puzzle, alright. I didn't do the puzzle, I was just, like, I was just staring at the lights. Um... But yeah, that's basically that's basically the whole RTX um, ray tracing graphics update for Windows 10. It looks amazing, and if they brought it to Java Edition, I would be the happiest man on the planet. But I don't think they will for a while. Um, so anyway, thank you all for watching this. This is a little preview of what we're going to have over the next while. Um, and it looks incredible. It looks absolutely incredible. 
and I can't wait for them to add more stuff uh, for this update in the future. Like as it is, it's fantastic, and but they have to optimize it obviously a bit more. But as it is right now, it it is so so cool. So if you want to go check it out, and um, the update is for the beta. It's the ray tracing beta and um, Windows 10 RTX, um, in the Xbox Insider app. If you can get that, there'll be a link in the in the description of the video anyway that you can go to and check out all the cool stuff like that. So so that'll do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, this is Minecraft with uh, ray tracing graphics, and uh, I'm very impressed. I have to say, thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Take care.